We see this summer with the droughts, with uh, the wildfires, we really know are seeing the cost of climate change. We realize that we're in the same boat and we have to collaborate. You will start this with Secretary Kerry's office, but as you have mentioned, it's, this door is open to all stakeholders around the world, not just exclusively for um, American companies or European companies. So we uh, would like to work with the companies that uh, do uh, uh, have ambitious uh, climate goals and want to use also their purchasing power uh, to really uh, advance technologies that today uh, are not really uh, available, but we have seen in the past that setting clear targets uh, are extremely important. Look at, for example, solar. If I had said 10 years ago that uh, the price for solar would fall to one tenth, uh, people would say, oh, that's our ambitious. But today we know that solar uh, is 10% of what it cost uh, 10 years ago. And through the development of uh, more modern solar, solar panels, uh, these uh, are now available. And they're also very competitive uh, when it comes to traditional energy sources. And here we also have uh, to thank uh, China uh, a lot because China through manufacturing and producing um, solar has been a major contributor to driving down uh, the prices for solar and we have now seen a lot of um, solar panels being uh, not only developed, but uh, we have seen investments and they're all over the world, driving down the prices and increasing the amount of renewables. My next question is that we have heard again and again the great reset and the building back better. Both governments of the United States and UK even named their um, COVID relief plans after it. Uh, meanwhile, we know that Chinese president has proposed a um, global development initiative during the United um, Nations General Assembly in September. Um, what do you think of the relationship be between those uh, initiatives? Uh, are they um, actually competitors with each other or um, we could find out a way to make them somehow collaborative? No, I hope that we can collaborate more in the future. Global challenges need global response. And the relationship between U.S. and China is critical also uh, for future progress, uh, being climate, but also biodiversity. So we also know uh, in many other topics like uh, pollution, plastics in ocean and all this, we need to collaborate uh, and we have to collaborate more. Also, President Xi Jinping, uh, you know, in Davos, um, when he was at our annual meeting, strongly underlined the importance of multilateralism, that uh, climate change, other, top, other challenges don't uh, know borders. The climate uh, and greenhouse gases don't travel with the passport. As we have seen with COVID, um, it does not respect borders. And the only way moving forward is that uh, we realize that we're in the same boat and we have to collaborate. Can you tell us um, how promising this year's COP26 in terms of um, reaching a uh, new agree agreement? We have no opportunity when it comes to failing. Too much is at stake. Our planet is at f on fire. We see uh, this summer with the droughts, uh, with uh, the wildfires, we really know are seeing the cost of climate change and it will just be increasing uh, in the years to come. So there is a lot of um, responsibility you know, for all the world leaders coming together uh, in Glasgow to find solutions. And I would strongly underline that don't look at the costs now uh, related to the measures that have to be taken. It is much more expensive also when it comes to lives, when it comes to nature, but also economic growth in the years to come if you neglect the responsibility uh, you have. We cannot continue to move around deck, deck chairs on Titanic. We now have to take steps forward to make sure that we do introduce uh, the transition from a fossil fuel-based society and build a bridge towards a renewable-based society. And it has to happen 
now? There has long been a debate in China on whether we should put development or、um, climate first. What's your take on this issue? Is it、uh, feasible for China to achieve its climate goals、um, and not, you know, achieve it at the price of people's、um, livelihood? So I think、uh, the goals that、um, China has set for itself. Uh, net zero by 2060,、uh, peak at least uh, in uh, 2030 are ambitious goals, but I think they are also realistic、uh, goals, and I think the measures are there、uh, to implement. And、uh, also in China,、uh, one has seen、uh, floods, one has seen also droughts, and seeing on the ground that climate change has a real cost. So I think what is important for China, but also for the rest of the world, is that that transition uh, to uh, low carbon economy will have to take、uh, place in the years to come, because the opposite also comes with huge developing、uh, impacts. Of course, China has,、uh, through decades now, seen、uh, poverty eradication. Uh, that we have not seen in the history of mankind before happening so fast,、uh, but now it is also、um, very important、um, uh, avenue that we we have to go down is now how to make sure that you still can continue an inclusive growth,、uh, continue to eradicate、uh, poverty. And、uh, secure development, but decouple this economic growth from growth in CO2 emissions and greenhouse gases and other emissions that、uh, will pollute the air,、uh, because that also has a huge development cost.、Uh, no one wants their children to grow up、um, in a world that is heating and where there is no clean air. It's definitely like squaring a circle. This decoupling. But as I said,、uh, we have seen when it comes to the price of solar, when it comes to the price of wind, we have dramatically reduced these prices in a decade, and that's why it's so important now to make sure that the new technologies that we need, for example, on green hydrogen and also、um, uh, vehicles and vessels that emit zero. Will have to be reduced、uh, the price for this, and then we have to use a clear incentive. So I'm sure that、uh, China will be able、uh, to also deal with this、um, uh, dilemma and this decoupling, as China has been able to deal with other challenges in its past. So the only the only decoupling we need is、uh, to decouple the economy from the high carbon emission sectors. Correct.